It's been a while since I posted a how-to video on a new TV antenna build. Sorry loyal followers, but I've been busy with traveling and making campground review videos for the camper side of my channel. But I'm back home now, so let's hop to it. TV antennas come in many different styles, designs, and sizes. Lately, I've been having fun developing and building antennas that are based on loop or hoop elements. I like them because they are easy to build, they don't have to be super precise in their dimensions, they are usually not too large, they look good, get really good reception, and they are not very expensive to make. The design I'm building today takes the hoop antenna to the next level of performance. Normally, hoop antennas do a good job of picking up stations up to 30 or 40 miles away. By using a double hoop with a reflector, this antenna is able to pull in more distant signals. How distant, you might ask? Well, that will depend on your particular situation. But stay until the end and I will show you some pretty amazing results. Well, that's enough talking. Let's start building. You will need the following parts. 8 feet of PVC trim board 3 quarters by 1 and a half inches, a piece of half inch hardware cloth 26 by 9 inches, 14 number 8 by 9 16 inch lath screws, 6 small washers, 8 number 10 by 1 and a half inch metal or wood screws, and a matching transformer. If you're going to mount this antenna outdoors, Make sure your screws are either stainless steel or at least zinc plated to prevent rust and oxidation. You will also need 72 inches of solid wire. You can use any stiff wire you like. I've used copper Romex wire before, but today I'm going to be using some 16 gauge galvanized all purpose wire I picked up from Lowe's. It's very inexpensive and in my tests it works just as well picking up TV signals as the much more expensive copper. Currently a 200 foot roll is under $11, so you could build a lot of antennas. Start by cutting 8.5 inch piece off the PVC board. I usually use a power saw, but I wanted to show you that this stuff cuts really easily and I could just use a hacksaw. Use 100 grit sandpaper to clean and smooth out the cut edges. Next, take your wire and cut two 36 inch pieces off. These will be your antenna elements. Measure five and a half inches from each end and bend the wire into two parallel leads. Needle nose pliers help make this nice and sharp. If you need to, use a gallon paint can to form the wire into a nice even hoop. Take the eight inch board and mark two locations that are one quarter inch from the side edges and five sixteenths inches from the ends. This will leave you with a one inch gap between these points Repeat this at the other end. Using a straight edge and aligning corner to corner, find the center point on the board. Using a square, draw a line through the center point and make two marks a quarter of an inch from each edge. Drill a pilot hole in each of these six marks. The end ones are for the antenna elements and the center two are for the terminals. Make two marks on the center of the board, the first at one inch from the center mark and a second at one and three quarters inches. Drill pilot holes through these points too. Using a three eighths inch drill bit, drill a hole at the center mark all the way through the board. Place a washer on four lath screws and screw them into the pilot holes. Now take one of the hoops and hook it under the washers. Tighten the screw down to secure it in place. Make sure the hoop is even and the leads run down the board. Repeat this with the other loop. Screw in two lath screws in the remaining holes. Wrap the element leads around them like this. Snip off any excess wire. Push the leads of the matching transformer through the hole and attach each to a terminal. Make sure they are secure but don't over tighten them. The double hoop antenna itself is done, and if you'd like, you can use this just as it is to get great TV reception. It will work quite well. If you need a longer range antenna, you will need to build a reflector. This will increase the antenna's range, but it will somewhat limit its directional ability. 
Take the PVC board and cut off a 24 inch length. Now cut off two 9 inch pieces. Measure 4.5 inches along the face near one edge. Make a mark 1 quarter inch on either side of this point. Measure down a quarter of an inch and drill two pilot holes. Do the same on the other board. I'm going to be mounting this antenna on a half inch pole. So I measured down one and an eighth inches and using a spade bit, I bored a hole partially through the board. This will be the top of the antenna and this will act as a mounting pocket. On the bottom board, I bored the hole all the way through. Now center one nine inch piece on the one end of the 24 inch piece. Align one edge flush, drill two pilot holes, and sink in a couple of one and a half inch screws. Do the same with the other board. You'll end up with this. Take the hardware cloth and place it over the flush side of the frame. Align two edges with the frame and sink in a couple of the lath screws to hold it in position. Use aviation shears to trim the cloth to the proper dimensions. Try to cut as close to the crosswire as possible. Wear work gloves, as this stuff can really tear up your hands. Use the remaining six lath screws to secure the cloth. Put a screw into each corner and space the remaining ones down the center board. Now it's time to mount the antenna to the reflector. Cut a three and a half inch spacer block from the PVC board. From the top of the antenna, measure from under the cross piece down to the center of the board making a mark at 10 and a half and 11 and a quarter inches. Drill pilot holes through the board. Drive in two long screws into the pilot holes you drilled. Screw them in until the tips slightly protrude. Center the three and a half inch block over the screw tips and drive the screws into the block mount. Using the pilot holes you have drilled in the antenna board, repeat the process to attach the antenna and the reflector together. Make sure you center and align the antenna so that it is even and square with the reflector board. The center of the antenna should align with the center of the reflector. Now do a final alignment of the two wire elements. They should be in line with each other and parallel to the reflector. Also they should form nice round circles. Bend the wires to adjust them. Your double hoop antenna with reflector is complete. It looks good, but how will it perform? It's time to test it out. I hooked up the antenna to my test TV where I check all of my antennas and I ran a channel scan. There's a distance station, channel 7, that I'm hoping this antenna can pull in, so I have it aimed in its general direction. My normal performance for a non-amplified antenna is between 39 and 44 channels. This antenna picked up 54 channels. The four local PBS stations, which are within 20 miles but are very hard to receive, came in clear and I had three out of four bar signal. I switched to channel 7 and as I had hoped, I was receiving it. The signal was only one bar, but the picture and sound were good. According to the website rabbitears.info, the transmitter for this station is located over 69 miles from me. Also, for this test I am indoors and getting the signal as it passes through the width of my house. I cannot promise you that this antenna will pull in all your stations within 70 miles, but obviously in the right situation it can. This is an easy to build antenna and the parts are not expensive, so why not put one together and see how well it works for you. Thanks for watching. A very special thanks to all my subscribers. You are what makes this channel fun for me. Don't forget to high five the like icon, jingle the bell, and if you're not a subscriber yet, consider joining us. Who knows what I'll be doing next, but until next time, keep watching TV.